Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to fill blank cells from the cell above. So I've got this spreadsheet right now with a small table on it. I have received the data like this and underneath some of the cell content are some blank cells. And I want those cells populated from the content above. So all of these blanks from A3 to A9 should say Stephen Buchanan, and all the cells underneath 10 there should be Margaret Peacock, and the same for these countries. But sometimes the way you receive the data like this, especially when coming from different sources, you know, it comes like this looking neat and tidy, but as far as Excel is concerned, not very easy to use. So, I'm going to begin by highlighting columns A to D. And on the Home tab, click Find and Select, and then Go to Special. Go to Special is an amazing feature. If you have not seen this feature before, check out some of the options here. It allows us to select cells that meet certain criteria. So I can select all the cells on a spreadsheet or within a range that contain formulas or all of the ones that contain data validation rules. And then important for us right now, the ones containing blanks. So when I click OK, Excel selects only the cells within that table that are blank. Absolute genius and very important for what we're going to do. Imagine a table much larger than this and how difficult a job that would have been. Now you'll notice that the active cell is B3. Cell B3 is white and it mentions its name in the name box at the top. That is the currently active cell. Whatever I say for that cell goes for all cells. So I'm going to type equals and then use the up arrow on my keyboard to basically select cell B2. So you see in the formula bar and in the cell equals B2. At this point, I'm going to hold down my control key and press enter. Control and enter. Very important, don't just press enter, it must be control and enter. Otherwise, it will not do what mine is doing. And that has now uh, kind of repeated that formula for every cell that was selected, which were the blank cells. So now it's got the exact look and feel that I was after, very quickly, very easily. The one thing that remains though, is that I now need to get rid of the formulas that are created, because I don't want them anymore past this point. So I'm simply going to highlight that data. I could highlight it all quite precisely, this table, it's only small. But I could also easily just highlight A to D, or whatever the scenario may be. I'm going to take a copy and then I'm simply going to use paste special to paste the values and its number format. And by doing that, that has now removed the formulas from the underlying cell. So I've now got the data in the table that I want without those formulas you're slowing me down and auto calculating. And that is one way that we can fill in blanks from the cell above. I hope you found that video useful. Check out some of our other tips on our YouTube channel and also at our blog at computergargar.com.